السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا Welcome back to a new video Today I have a beautiful story for you From the books of Arabic literature uh, The story is mentioned in a book called Majani al-Adab But I originally got the inspiration uh, For this video from another video by Sheikh Mabrook Zaid And uh, that is in Arabic So if you understand Arabic I recommend uh, that video And I will put uh, a link in the description but the story is that there was a rich trader in Baghdad and he wanted to send his only son on a voyage, on a business trip. Because the traders of that time, they used to send their children on far uh, voyages so they can see the world and learn the trade for themselves. They used to send uh, their children all the way to India, for example, from Baghdad. So this merchant, prepared a ship full of merchandise for his son and he sent him on the ship. And the ship, unfortunately, was wrecked in a storm and it was broken apart. And all the merchandise was lost and all the people drowned except for this one boy or this young man who held on to a piece of wood and he was saved. But he uh, you know, spent time in the sea and all his clothes got torn off. And somehow he washed up on an island. And he was naked because all his clothes were destroyed and he had no money whatsoever. But the people of this island, they saw him and they came and they uh, took him and they gave him the most beautiful clothes and ornaments and gold and silver. And they took him in a procession and they were beating drums in front of him. And they took him all the way to the qasr, to the castle. And then when they entered, the throne was empty and they made him sit on it. And this man had absolutely no idea about what is going on. But he sees, in the corner of his eye, he sees a venerable sheikh. So when these people were about to leave, he called the sheikh and he told them, I need to speak to you. So when the sheikh came to him, he asked him, As'aluka billah, I ask you in the name of Allah, please tell me what is going on. So the sheikh said, I will tell you, let me explain. The people of this island have a peculiar or custom that every three years they wait for the first person to set foot on this island from the sea and they make him the king they give, they give him uh, beautiful clothes and ornaments and wealth and he will be the king and he can do whatever he pleases but at the end of the three years they come and they drag him out by his feet and they take off his expensive jewelry and uh, his clothes and they put him on a boat with just four guards and they send him to a barren island uh, not a barren island a deserted island where there is nothing and he dies there out of thirst and hunger so this is what they do so the young man he asked the sheikh how do you advise me what should I do so the sheikh said, since you sought my advice, I will give you the best advice. Now you are the king and you can do whatever you please. Command me and I will go to this island and I will uh, dig wells for water and I will plant trees and I will grow animals and birds and I will prepare it for you so that after three years when you go there, it will be ready. So the young man said, then do that, I command you. So the sheikh, he started his work and he started building up this beautiful island. And like he said, after the three years, they came and they dragged him out and took off his uh, crown and his gold and silver and his beautiful uh, silk clothes. And they put him on the boat with a few guards and they, and they sent him to the island. So when he came to the island, he saw it was prepared for him. It was no longer 
uh, an empty land, it was a beautiful abode. So he lived there comfortably till uh, a ship from Baghdad came and he got on it and he returned to Baghdad. Now this story is not a true story. It is what you call Qassatun Ramziya. It is a symbolic story. And it signifies the dunya, subhanAllah. Just think about it. When you come into this world, out of your mother's womb, you have nothing. You have no clothes on. And you enter this dunya, and then you are given all the uh, ni'am, all the blessings. You are given wealth, you are given time, you are given power. And you can do whatever you please. But for certain, you are going to go to a barren land, an empty land. And there will be nothing on this land except that which you prepared and sent forth during your life here. So subhanAllah, this is this barren land, it is the Qabr and the Akhirah. And the three years signifies the short time you have in the dunya. This venerable Sheikh, he is the Quran al Kareem, whose guidance if you seek, it can benefit you for your time in the Akhirah. And if you prepare this land that you are going to, your certain destination, then you will have no regrets. You will be comfortable there. But if you just enjoy these three years, the short uh, while, and not think about the future, then you'll go there and find nothing. SubhanAllah. What a beautiful parable. This is something all of us need to think about and apply in our lives. I hope you benefited from this and I will see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.